hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl Laila K with another school assignment so today i'm going to talk about the it's about cultural sensitivity i'm going to talk about the zulu red dance so what is the zulu red dance it is an age-old annual ceremony in celebration of sexual purity and promotion of sexual abstinence among young girls. The ceremony is a traditional rite of womanhood rooted historically in an occasion for the king to select new wives among his subjects. The purpose of this dance is that it brings together the unmarried girls and young women of the country to cut trees for the annual repairs to the windbreaks of the Queen Mother's village, which lasts for five days. It's also a symbol of the unity of the nation. The origin of the red dance is possible to Goodwill Joaquin when he introduced it in 1991 in South Africa. The red dance takes place in the royal crowd of the Zulu king known as Nongoma in KwaZulu Natal. Besides the dance, there is a deep medical connection between the reeds and the origin of the Zulu people. According to tradition, it was found out that the origin ancestor emerged from the reed bed. The name of this festival was derived from the reeds that go around a riverbed and also form part of the young Zulu women who have passed a virginity test carry in a procession when they are invited to the king's palace. The the girls come from several parts of Zulu land with their traditional Zulu clothes. Recently, smaller groups of girls from Eswatini and distant places like Ponoland and Botswana also join in the ceremony. Talking about their traditional attire, a beautiful thing about the sashes is that each of them has appendages of various color that symbolize whether a girl is betrothed or not. As the Omlanga red dance ceremony takes place, a unique thing about it is that only a nude girls are allowed to partake in the event. And when they are dancing as part of the ceremony, each maiden carries a long red and dances bare breasted for the king. Guys, another thing is that, however, it is also worth noting that before the ceremony takes place, there are certain prof which are involved and one of each is the camping of the Zulu maidens for what is known as Siayaya and Langeni in Dunde. Siayaya and Langeni means we are ready for the red dance. The purpose of the camp is for the girls to go through virginity test before the annual ceremony will take place at the royal palace. Once they pass the test, it will then grant them the right to partake in the event. As part of the activities that take place during the ceremony, once the Zulu girls cut the reeds, they take them back to the royal residence, which will then be used for the Queen Mother's heart as Queen Breakers. Apart from those, another significant opportunity that the ceremony avails is because that of the promotion of solidarity and a sense of unity among the girls. The Zulu maidens have the privilege of bonding with those who are in their age group from different parts of the country. So let's not be quick to judge about other people's culture before knowing the importance of that culture and why they practice it. Okay? So before you judge them, do research. Do research on them. Yeah. <laughs> At least get to understand them. So guys, that was all about the red dance. Remember to hit the red button, like, share, comment. <laughs> Remember it's a good it's good assignment. I'll be back with more. So guys, bye bye. <laughs>